Hi everyone and welcome back to Lori's Crafty Corner. Today's layout is for the Shimmers Design Team. And just a reminder, if you're interested in getting some free paint on your next Shimmers order, just write my name, Laura Mara, in the comment section and you'll be able to receive some free paint. So I'm using the color kits for this layout. And the color kits come with the Stella Bella cut file, which is a flower. Um, here I'm just showing you the different pieces that it has. Typically it's two of the six petal layers and two of the seven petal layers. Um, and then the rolled center. Um, I don't use them completely like they're supposed to. I do like a little bit of mix, mix and match, but yeah. And then I'm just showing you the different shimmers from this, um, from this month. Um, this one is Ice Sage, which is a nice light green. Um, we have a Shimmers Magenta, Shimmers Buttercream, which is a gorgeous buttercream color. And that mist is a Vibes called Blue Jeans. And the packet also comes with a tiny um, clothespin and some dots. The final color of Shimmers is um, Iris My Case. And here I'm just gonna open them up, stir them up a bit, and just like color the top. Um, that way I know how the color will look. I typically do that with most of my, um, with yeah, basically with all the shimmers that I get. I you know dip my brush in it and add the color onto the top to sort of when I'm looking for color combinations, I can get like a better idea of what they will look like on white cardstock. Now I'm going to get to work first on my cut file. Um, I cut, like I had this idea in mind of, a of adding like a border of flowers to one side of my layout, um, but I wanted the flowers to be big. And then I also added two other smaller flowers that I've added towards the right hand side of the layout. This would make, will make better sense once you start seeing how it um, comes together. Um, I, st I just had to like finish cutting up a couple of the petals and whatnot. This has nothing to do with how the cut file was designed. It has all, of, you know, it has everything to do with the fact that I need new mats and new blades for my Cricut. That's just it. Um, I selected two, two, a 2-2 two, two pink um, basil cardstock as my base, and that's the picture that I'm going to be documenting. And that's sort of how the flower is going to be placed. Bear that in mind when you see the final result. I was blown away. I just love how the colors look um, on this layout. Now, I was like, okay, it's a light pink cardstock. I'm just going to keep my colors nice and light on my cardstock. That idea goes out the window pretty fast. You'll see what I do with my cardstock. But here, what I'm doing is I'm just bending the flowers, the petals a bit to create some dimension. And I'm doing that for all the different flowers. As Stacy, Stacy Robles was the one who designed this cut file for the team. Um, she says like you fold it up like you would a taco and just like that. And quite honestly, I kept saying you fold it up like a taco. So what I did is that I cut the two larger flowers in half to create two, um, two halves. Um, I'm going to color one of them, well, yeah, two, two sections with the blue jeans mist and the other two sections, I'm gonna color them with the shimmers magenta. Um, then the smaller section, the smaller half, I colored it with some buttercream. Let me tell you, separate, they look good. Layered on top of each other, I just, I just love this layout, I do so much. Of course, I probably say that for all my layouts, but yeah. I really love all the combination of the colors that go on on this layout. So for the smaller flowers, I did the same thing. I have one layer in um, one layer in magenta, 
the rolled center, which honestly I don't use it. I used it. I thought about using it, but I don't in the end. Um, I colored it with ice sage. And what I'm doing now is since it's dried up a bit, I used magenta and went over it again. And I sprayed again the centers, um, the part that has blue jeans, I sprayed some of it again so that I have that color variation. I have some areas that are lighter, others are darker. And then the final layer, the final set of petals over towards the right, uh, right hand side, I've colored with the Iris My Case shimmers. And now I grab my cardstock and then I add, start spraying it all up and down the left hand border. I sort of narrow up how I'm spraying it towards the center and then I open it up a bit towards the right hand side. Um, sort of to form like an hourglass. But yeah, I don't, um, here I am like spraying it again to just have that color variation. Now, everything's dry. I'm going to start working on it. I start to layer my petals in um, a bit offset so that um, I can fill in the empty spaces. And then I was like, wait, I need to add more colors to the background. So I grabbed buttercream and began splattering it onto the background. I just splattered buttercream all around the like the layout. I grabbed Iris my case and splattered it towards the edge of blue jeans and I did the same thing with the magenta one. And I just love all that little um, pops of different colors on my layout. See that's where I'm going to be placing my flowers. So I just finished bending up the, the petals because they got a bit flat when I started coloring them. I'm gluing them on and as I'm gluing them on again I'm like curving the petals and then I placed the smaller petal in the center. I love how that flower how, how those flowers turned out. So my reasoning behind cutting them in half is that essentially I would have had one flower but by cutting it in half, I can stretch it and make it seem like it's one, it, like it's two flowers instead of one. And then as I get to work on the smaller ones, I or originally thought about using um, like the first layer being pink and the other one being purple. But I did one that was purple first and then pink and the other one was pink first and the purple second and then I thought instead of using the rolled flowers the rolled flower centers I thought about using it using the dots that come with the color kits as flower centers and I love how that turned out and then I reached a point that I was like okay what else am I going to add to this layout that I that doesn't take away from the overall aspect? Because, you know, shimmers, um, shimmers um, projects, you're supposed to showcase shimmers, not cover up all the shimmer shimmeriness. So what I did is I started to work on adding paper layers beneath my picture. I matted it with some um, pink paisley paper first and then the other three layers that I used are from Chamel's Never Grow Up collection. Um, I like. I wanted to use these papers mainly because they had the right tone of purple and pink together. Plus, um, I really wanted to add, use up the remainder. But the only thing that I do use from that collection is just the pattern paper. Um, I don't use much of anything else. Um, between the second and third layer of patterned paper, I added a layer of um, craft foam for some dimension. And then between the third and fourth layer of patterned paper, 
I added another layer of um, craft foam because I just wanted to add that dimension. Since I have a lot of dimension going on with the flowers, I really wanted to continue playing with that, playing with the dimension of the layout, uh, making sure that the contrasts between layers wasn't like too distinct, but that you can, you know, you could pick up on it. And then as it usually happens, my glue bottle clogged up halfway through the layout, but you know, that's typically what happens. So now I am getting ready to commit to sticking things down and start like really finishing up the layout. Cause once I had everything colored and I knew the patterned paper that I was going to use and whatnot, I, it was pretty straightforward. It was just like glue things in its place, in their place, and that's it. And then in terms of titles, I sort of have like two different titles, but the one that's official is Dad and Me. I had these white foam thickers um, that were heart shaped and I was like, Mira, I'm just going to add them in here. Um, I use these holographic um, thickers. I believe those are from a Chamel collection um, to write the title Dad and Me. And then in the same white foam thickers, I had the word love. So I'm going to stick that towards the top of the picture because I felt like it needed something. And then I realized, wait, I haven't used the clothespin. So what I'm going to do with those clothespins is to, to make them seem like I'm, like they're holding the pa patterned paper together. So that's why I popped them there. And then um, next to the love title, I popped the last dots, which says my happy place. So in a way, my title could be love my happy place. And below the title that says dad and me, I'm adding an arrow. Um, I debated whether to whether or not to take off the arrow uh, because it was like, it's not pointing towards anything. Do I even want it there? I splatter a bit more of Iris my case. And I'm almost calling it done. But then I was like, wait, I know what's missing. I grabbed Ice Sage, um, which is the Inklings, and I color the white foam thickers with it. What it does once it dries, it does take a while to dry. I left it to dry overnight. Um, what it does is that it gives it like this gorgeous metallic, light metallic green color to, it almost, it almost mimics the holographic um, tone of the title that says dad and me off camera. Um, cause here I'm splattering a, a bit more of ice sage. Here are the close-ups. See what I mean? That the white thickers look ho almost photo, fo um, almost holographic. Um, off camera, I did fix a bit the arrow and now I'm okay with it. It's just that it was a bit tilted and not quite centered beneath the title. But yeah, I just love how this layout turned out. And I hope I've inspired you to pick up, to get your hands on a color kit, on a September color kit. Because it's just gorgeous and it's so versatile to use. If anything, guys, remember you can use my name, Laura Mar, to get a freebie on your next Shimmers order. If anything, I'll see you back soon with another process video. Thank you so much for joining me.